So today we are taking a closer look at this uh, very nice stainless steel watch here that the company did send to me. Um, when you first do get this, it comes in this nice box. So this is something that would be great for a gift. Uh, looks really nice. And then inside the box, you do also um, get the tool to change out the, to adjust the straps on this. So if it's a little bit too big, you'll see here in a minute, it's a little bit big on me. So I'm gonna show you how to um, adjust the straps on this. And then it does come with a couple of the extra pins inside of here. And then it does have also instructions on how to uh, use the watch and the user manual here. When you first get it, you will want to press in this button. There's a little thing you want to remove and then press in the button. And then that will allow the battery to start working and the clock to start um, going. In order to adjust the time, you can pull that out and then uh, you can see you can go through and change that as well. Um, now, as you can see, in order to open this up, you just clip these two things here and it will open up like this. And then from here, you can go through and strap that on. Um, now, right out of the box, as you can see here, this is a little big on me. So uh, what I wanna do is go through and remove some of these straps and show you how to do that. So the first thing that you wanna do is identify the side that has the unmarked um, pins. The unmarked ones, there's a marked side and an unmarked side, and it kind of explains this better in the user manual, and it's kind of hard to see here in this light, um, but they're the ones that don't have a little line running through them. So there's these little unmarked pins right here. You wanna take that, and then you wanna grab this cool little tool right here, and you want to set this on here and find the, uh, screw it out so it kind of fits into the right spot here. And you wanna rest it right here, and then you want to grab the unmarked pin side, screw this so it sits there and then all you need to do is just place that into that little pin there so, so I'm trying to give you the best angle here possible get that little pin in there and then it will then you just go through and screw it out and you can see there's a little place where um, the other side of the pin can come out so keep screwing it and you can see here it's going to move that pin out you can see it moving right here um, and just keep screwing that until it is moved and then you can undo this. And then you can just remove that and then you can just pull the pin. So now you can see the pins out there enough that I can just go through and remove it. And then now uh, it's break, broke, broken this off. And so then I can go through and remove this next pin and I can remove as many as I want until it's time for me to go through and put them back. So I'm gonna remove a couple of these and then I'll come back and show you how to put them back together. Okay, so now I've gone through and removed some of the parts here. Now to get this back together, it's as simple as kind of lining these up here, getting them um, where you want them to go, and then putting that pin back into, uh, back into the, the uh, hole here. So now you can see we have that all um, uh, attached. So then what we can do from here is just slip this on and you can go through and customize it more if it doesn't fit completely, but it just snaps on just like this. And you can see that is what it looks like when it is on. A uh, nice looking watch, very fancy looking watch, great for upscale or downscale kind of occasions. Um, uh, but very happy with the way this works and super easy to go through and adjust this thing.